scale is the relationship between the length of a line drawn between two positions on a chart and the distance on the Earth between the same points. This sounds complicated, but isn't. All that it means is that scale is defined as the relationship between the distance of these two airfields on the map, which is 11.1 centimeters, and the 30 nautical miles on the ground, which separate these two places. There are three common methods of expressing scale. A statement in words, a graduated scale line, or a representative fraction. A statement in words is fairly self-evident. The statement 1 inch to 20 nautical miles means that a line 1 inch on the chart represents 20 nautical miles on the chart. Jefferson used this method on most of their radio navigation charts. Their scales often do not equate to a representative fraction with any obvious round number. Graduated scale lines are normally depicted at the bottom of the chart and they may be in nautical miles, statute miles or kilometers. If your chart does not have one, you can measure your track distance against minutes of change of latitude. On any projection, on any scale, one minute of change of latitude always equals one nautical mile. However, the most common way of expressing scale is as a representative fraction. This is a statement in words put into mathematical form and is calculated from the equation scale equals chart length divided by earth distance. So for instance, with a scale of 1 to 500,000, the convention is that the chart length is always 1 and that the units above and below the line are the same and thus cancel each other out. To make the fraction dimensionless or representative. Therefore, one centimeter on the chart represents 500,000 centimeters on the Earth. But equally, one inch on the chart represents 500,000 inches. When converting from a statement in words to a representative fraction, you must ensure that you use the same units for both the numerator and the denominator. For instance, if converting 1 inch to 10 nautical miles into a representative fraction, start as always with the basic equation. Now substitute 1 inch and 10 nautical miles into the equation. However, these are not in the same units. Multiply the nautical miles by 6,080 in order to convert into feet. Multiply the feet to get the denominator into inches. Now both numerator and denominator are in the correct units. When the denominator is multiplied out, it becomes 1 to 729,600. So the representative fraction is dimensionless. It will work with centimeters or feet or any other units as well as inches provided the ratios remain the same. You will find the following conversion factors useful in dealing with typical scale problems. So you must remember them. You will not be allowed to look them up in exams. One nautical mile is 6,080 feet or 1,852 meters. One meter is 3.28 feet. These conversions have been rounded slightly and do not multiply out perfectly. For instance, if you multiply 1,852 meters by 3.281, 
the answer comes to about 6,076 feet. This is because a slightly more correct conversion factor from meters to feet would be 3.281, but we have cut it down to a sensible length. This may give slight rounding errors in calculations, but they are not significant. One inch is 2.54 centimeters. One that could be quite useful is that 10 kilometers is 5.4 nautical miles. Remember, the distance from the equator to the pole directly up a meridian is, by definition, 10,000 kilometers. But also remember that from the equator to the pole directly up a meridian is 90 degrees along a great circle. Each degree is equivalent to 60 nautical miles, and 60 times 90 is 5,400. So there are 5,400 nautical miles to 10,000 kilometers. Here are the conversion factors summarized. Learn them. One nautical mile is 6,080 feet, or 1,852 meters. One meter is 3.28 feet. One inch is 2.54 centimeters. And 10 kilometers is 5.4 nautical miles. Let's try an example now. On a particular chart, 5 centimetres represents 7 nautical miles. What is the scale? As always, start with the formula. Representative fraction equals chart length over earth distance. That's 5 centimetres over 7 nautical miles times 1852 to get the nautical miles into meters times 100 to get the meters into centimeters multiply out the denominator to get 5 over 1,296,400 however we always express representative fractions with 1 as the numerator we need to divide both numerator and denominator by 5, which gives us 1 over 259,280. Remember, we always want our representative fraction to finish up with the numerator as 1. Some calculators will do this for you automatically. If you just key it in as 5 divided by, open brackets, 7 times 1852 times 100, close brackets, equals. However, a lot of them won't. Keying this expression in will give you the answer as a decimal, or in scientific notation, depending on how you've got it set up. You could then use a reciprocal key, if you've got one, to get the denominator. However, a method which will allow you to enter all this onto your calculator in one stage, and which will work for any calculator, is to evaluate the denominator first, and then divide by the numerator. The answer comes out as the denominator of the representative fraction, and you then have to write it down as 1 over the number on your calculator. So, enter the denominator first, and then divide by the numerator. The answer comes up as 259,280. You then have to write it down as 1 over 259,280. There are two basic subdivisions of scale problems, simple scale and Mercator scale. Mercator scale problems are dealt with in a later part of the course.
All simple scale problems are dealt with by substituting into the one basic equation. Representative fraction equals chart length over earth distance. To save time, we normally write it down abbreviated, like this. Sometimes you are given the chart length and the earth distance and asked to find the representative fraction, as in example 1. Sometimes you are given the representative fraction and the earth distance and asked to find the chart length. Sometimes you are given the representative fraction and the chart length and asked to find the earth distance. Just substitute what you know into the appropriate equation. Apply any conversion factors necessary to get both chart length and earth distance in the same units. Rearrange if necessary to make the unknown the subject of the equation and solve using your calculator. Here is an example where you are given the representative fraction and the chart length and asked to find the earth distance. On a chart of scale 1 to 5 million, how many nautical miles on the earth are represented by 1.7 centimeters? Start in the usual way. Get the equation down and substitute in what you know. The numerator is in centimeters and the denominator needs to be in nautical miles. So, convert the nautical miles into centimeters. Multiply by 1852 to get meters and then 100 to get centimeters. We now need to make the Earth distance the subject of the equation. We'll cross multiply diagonally. Bring the Earth distance up to the top left and the 5 million up to the top right. This gives you Earth distance equals 1.7 times 5 million divided by 1852 divided by 100 which comes to 45.89 nautical miles. Let's check this out on the chart. One degree of change of latitude is 60 nautical miles. The illustration shows a real 5 million chart. The ruler is correctly scaled to the graticule. You can see that 1.7 centimeters really does represent just over 45 nautical miles on the chart. So we've now done one example where we were given chart length and earth distance and asked to find representative fraction. That was example 1. In example 2, we were given the representative fraction and the chart length and asked to find the earth distance. In this one, example 3, we will do the third type. We'll find the chart length from the representative fraction and the earth distance. A chart has a representative fraction of 1 to 2 million. What chart length in inches represents an earth distance of 250 kilometers? As usual, start with the basic equation. Representative fraction equals chart length over earth distance. And put in what you know. In this case, the representative fraction of 1 to 2 million and the earth distance of 250 kilometers. We now need to get chart length and earth distance into the same units. There is more than one way of doing this, but we'll convert the kilometers to inches. Multiply by 1000 to get the earth distance in meters, then by 3.28 to get it into feet, then by 12 to get it into inches. 
rearrange in order to make chart length the subject of the equation, again cross multiply, and then use your calculator to solve the equation. The chart length is 4.92 inches. We explained earlier that the conversion factors are reasonably and sensibly accurate, but they contain slight rounding errors in order to keep them down to a usable length. These rounding errors are not significant in terms of accuracy when considered as a percentage. But when dealing with very large numbers, such as the denominator of a representative fraction, they can seem bigger than they are. Let's remind ourselves of how we did example 1 again, briefly, and then convert the units in a different way and see what the difference is. The question was, on a particular chart, 5 centimetres represents 7 nautical miles. What is the scale? We established our equation and then chose to convert nautical miles into centimetres. When we multiplied out, this gave us a representative fraction of 1 over 259,280. However, it would have been equally valid when at this stage, instead of converting the nautical miles to centimetres, to have worked in inches. We could have then divided the 5 centimetres by 2.54 to get them into inches, then multiplied the 7 nautical miles by 6,080 to get them into feet, and then multiplied by 12 to get inches. Multiplying this out gives us a representative fraction of 259,446. As you can see, there is a small difference between the 259,000 280 in the first calculation and the 259,446 in the second. But both answers are equally valid. Any multi-choice answers in test questions will be separated by much larger margins than this and you will have no difficulty recognizing which is the correct option. People are often confused as to whether a chart is defined as a large-scale or a small-scale chart. This is a large-scale chart. It is at a scale of 1 to 50,000. Two centimetres on this chart represents one kilometre on the Earth. The chart does not cover much area, but there is a great deal of detail. Small roads and even individual houses are shown. So the rule is, large scale, not much area, lots of detail. This is a small scale chart. It covers a lot of area. It includes Iceland, Greenland, Canada, Alaska, Siberia, Northern Russia and Europe. This covers a lot of area but there is not much detail. So the rule is small scale, not much detail, lots of area. So to summarize, large scale, lots of detail, small scale, lots of area. This seems odd to some people, but it is the right way round. The larger scale has the larger representative fraction. The smaller scale has the smaller representative fraction. The local large scale chart has a scale of 1 to 50,000. A typical polar navigation chart has a scale of 1 to 5 million. At first sight, 
It seems as though 5 million is the larger figure. But this is the denominator in a fraction. Let's fill in the fourth column. A fraction of 1 to 50,000, expressed as a decimal, is 0 0.000002. A fraction of 1 to 5 million expressed as a decimal is 0 0.000002 is a larger number than 0.000002. The representative fractions are in the right sense. The confusion occurs because the denominators are easier to handle, and so this is how we usually refer to charts. We usually call this chart a half million chart. Nobody would normally refer to it as a 0.000002 chart. It is just too unwieldy. So the logic of large and small is correct. A larger scale is a smaller denominator. A smaller scale is a larger denominator. So, let's summarize. We have seen that scale is defined as the relationship between the length of a line drawn between two positions on a chart and the distance on the Earth between the same points. There are three common methods of expressing scale. A statement in words, a graduated scale line, or a representative fraction. The basic equation is representative fraction equals chart length over earth distance. When using a representative fraction, you must ensure that both the numerator and the denominator are in the same units. Remember the following conversion. One nautical mile is 6,080 feet, or 1,852 meters. One meter is 3.28 feet. One inch is 2.54 centimeters. And 10 kilometers is 5.4 nautical miles. All calculations can be solved by initial substitution into the basic formula. We always want our representative fraction to finish up with the numerator as 1. A method which will allow you to enter all this onto your calculator in one stage and which will work for any calculator is to evaluate the denominator first and then divide by the numerator. The answer comes out as the denominator of the representative fraction and you then have to write it down as 1 over the number on your calculator. Remember, conversion factors contain small rounding errors. These are not significant in terms of overall accuracy. A large scale map shows a lot of detail, but not much area. It has a larger representative fraction as a number, but when expressed as a fraction, it has a smaller denominator. A small scale map shows a lot of area, but not much detail. It has a smaller representative fraction as a number, but when expressed as a fraction, it has a larger denominator.